Welcome to Lunch with Lisa, where I share quick and easy healthy meals. But today, it's all about dining out and sticking to your macros. It's Lunch with Lisa. Welcome back to my Macros 101 series, Fueling Your Fat Loss Journey. This is Lesson 5. Click here to go to the playlist to watch all the videos in this series. Today in lesson five, we're gonna dive into the world of dining out and ordering takeout while sticking to your macro goals. In no time, you're gonna be making savvy choices to enjoy all of your takeout and restaurant food while losing weight and sticking to your plan. Yes, you can savor delicious dishes without saying goodbye to your macros. The dining out dilemma. All right, so let's address the dining out dilemma. Eating out at restaurants or ordering takeouts is just part of our modern day life, just what we do. But it can be really challenging to stay on track with counting your macros, especially when you're faced with all this tempting food on these menus. But don't worry, with a little strategic decision-making, you can navigate all of these restaurant choices while keeping your macro goals intact. Meal preparation. Before you even step foot in a restaurant or pick up your phone to order food, Here's the thing I want you to do first. Look up their menu online. Just look it up and look through it first. Don't wait until you're hungry. Don't wait until you're at the restaurant. Do it beforehand. Then you're gonna look through and find dishes that align with your macro goals. And so many restaurants now will provide you with nutritional information, making it so much easier to make informed choices. And if they don't have it on the menu, a lot of times you can look it up on their website and they may have a whole page that lists the nutritional ingredients of all their foods. And if you can't find it on their website, maybe you can find their meals in a macro tracking app like MyFitnessPal. Mindful ordering. So when it comes to ordering, being mindful is key here. So what does that mean? That means really thinking about what you're ordering and think about it in terms of macros. So you wanna start with your protein. That's the most important one. So make sure you're finding a protein on the menu that fits inside your goals. It could be anything from grilled chicken, fish, beef, some kind of lean meat, or a plant-based option like tofu. But I really want you to pay attention to how this meat is cooked and see if it really aligns with your goals. Like if you want less fat in your diet and you wanna have more room for dessert, for the carbs and fat, you're gonna choose a meat that's cooked without too much oil. Like one major tip is anything blackened is probably saturated with a lot of oil, so stay away from that. Look for things that are with high heat, like grilled, broiled, boiled, steamed, that kind of thing. Then you're gonna choose your carbohydrate source. If you wanna opt for nutritional density versus calorie density, look for things like whole grains, sweet potatoes, or even steamed vegetables if possible. And don't forget your healthy fats. If your meal is low in fat, go ahead and add some avocado, olive oil, or even butter. Watch portion sizes. All right, so let's face it, portion sizes at restaurants can be two to four times the size that they really need to be. Now here's a really good tip to make sure you're not overindulging. Have your waiter or waitress box up your meal before they even bring it to the table and have them bring the boxed portion with the check so that you're not tempted to eat it right there during dinner. And that way you know for sure you're not gonna overindulge. Or of course, you can ask for a to-go box with your meal so that you can box it up real quickly at the table. Or think about sharing your entree with somebody else. It's perfectly fine to ask for modifications. And if it's a good restaurant, they're going to honor your substitutions so that you can make your meal more macro-friendly. Be wary of extras. Okay, watch out for extras on the menu, like anything that can add sneaky little calories into your meal. Things like creamy dressings, sugary sauces, and excessive cheese can pile on those calories super fast. Consider asking for dressings on the side or ask for a lighter option available. Mindful eating. So as you're enjoying your meal, go ahead and try to practice mindful eating. And at a restaurant, it's actually the perfect time to do this. You have someone there with you, you can pause while you're eating, talk to somebody, take some breaks, really focus on your hunger and your fullness cues so that you know when to stop eating if you do feel full. And taking a longer time and slowly chewing your food is gonna help your brain catch up to your stomach. This can really help you prevent overeating. It's really not always what you eat, but how you eat it as well. Flexibility and enjoyment. And lastly, don't forget you're going out to eat. It's a treat. Enjoy yourself. Live a little. This should be an enjoyable experience, right? So 
it's okay if you get a little off track and overindulge a little bit. It's just one day or one meal even. Don't sweat it. In the end, it's really just about balance and sustainability. Is this a diet you're going to be able to stick to for a long, long time, like the rest of your life? then you're going to need to be flexible. That's just it. And one day out of the year or the month even is just a drop in the bucket. Get back on track the next day. So go into this with the right mindset and a little bit of know-how and knowledge and you'll be able to stay on track with your macros. And here are a few extra tips and tricks when you're going out to eat. One thing I like to do is eat something small before I go out to eat, especially if it's high in protein, like a boiled egg. That actually helps you feel a little bit full, helps your satiety. So it can help you not be starving when you go and eat too much of food that you don't know what someone put in it, right? <laughs> Another strategy is using intermittent fasting for this in particular. I'm not the type of person who enjoys intermittent fasting, but I will employ that strategy on days when I wanna splurge. Like if I know I'm gonna go out and I know what I want at the restaurant and it is not the lowest calorie thing on there, then I'm going to preserve some of my calories for that day. I'm just gonna tough it out. It's just one day, I'll tough it out. I won't eat a whole lot. I might eat just a little bit something before I go so I don't go too overboard and I'm not too ravenous and hungry. But then I'm just going to get right back on track the next day. And if you reserve enough calories, then you'll be fine. One day of not hitting your macros exactly, even the protein is not gonna kill you, so. Just make sure you're staying within your calories and you should be fine. You won't have to change anything for the next day. Well, let's say it, this is something that you didn't plan for and you didn't reserve any calories and you go and you splurge. You can still reserve your calories during the next day. So you could actually back off your calories. You could even spread it out over a few days and eat less for the next few days and you could still maintain your calorie deficit. And one last thing is make sure you're not depriving yourself when you're not eating out. Make sure you're eating enough fiber, enough protein, and enough foods that you enjoy so that you don't feel like you're lacking anything and that your diet is satisfying enough so that you don't lose all control when you go out to eat. So if you really enjoy chips, make sure you're giving yourself some chips throughout the week, at least once or twice, not overindulging, just a few chips here and there, knowing that you're gonna eat the foods that you love means that you're gonna stay on track longer. And this is gonna be something that you can sustain for the rest of your life. And you won't be in a calorie deficit forever, right? But you wanna learn how to eat for yourself so that you're satisfied. And then when you get off of your calorie deficit, cause yes, you will need to start eating more one day, you'll just add back more healthy foods. You're not gonna go cray cray and say, oh, I'm gonna overindulge in that cake. I've been eyeballing all week. No, because you let yourself eat some cake. So you're not gonna freak out and go overboard and gain all the weight back. That's not what I want you to do. I want you to keep it off and maintain it. So make sure you're feeding yourself foods that you enjoy. And that way, when you do go out to a restaurant, you're not gonna overeat and go cray cray. If there's anything else that you have to add, please leave a comment down below. If you have any questions, let me know. I would love to answer them. And I think you're ready now to conquer the restaurants and eating out and figuring out what fits into your macros so that you're not going cray cray. Cray cray. And I know you'll be able to stick to your macro goals. So get ready for our next lesson where I'm gonna dive into advanced macro strategies for you and how you can fine tune your nutrition to fit your fitness goals. So get excited for even more macro mastery. <laughs> Keep rocking those macros and I will see you in my next video. And thank you so much to all my patrons. I really appreciate your support. It's lunch with Lisa.